Dave Clawson almost always chooses to defer. Louisville won the toss, and the Cardinals have the opening kickoff, and they'll start from the 25-yard line. These quarterbacks are prepared for the cold weather. First give of the game to Hall, and he's got big yards. First down carry for the freshman, 14 yards on the play. Man, boy, did those big guys up front open this hole up and Hall. We talk about the great speed. Couldn't sustain it. How do they complicate things today to try to frustrate the Cardinals? Well, it's tough. When you don't have a lot of depth playing, you know, those guys tire out, and uh, that's exactly what happened to Florida State. And you had to play conservative because you got a new linebacker who just moved in. On opening drives, they have not scored on their first drive of the first half all season. And this is going to be a yard shy, I think, of the marker. Go ahead, take it one play at a time. Ray Smith has the first down and more. Smith, gone. 52-yard touchdown for the Cardinals. In a ball game, and you benefit from it. Six points right here with Trey Smith going the distance. Right now, the Louisville players on that sideline say, we're pretty confident. Look at that clear off box. A massive hole for Trey Smith. Get some adjustments. Hartman tries to find a hole. It wasn't a big one, but it was enough. Michael Boykin brings him down, but he picks up two to move the chains. Three yards last year against the Cardinals. Remember, first play from scrimmage last year was a 45-yard pass, and here's a shot to Dorch. One-handed catch. He hauls it in. This kid is special here going down the field. Double coverage right here. He reaches out there with one hand. 35 yards. Wake snaps it quick. Hartman under pressure. Finds his tight end. Frudenthal inside the five to the goal line. Touchdown. Demon Deacons respond in a blink of an eye. Tight end with a stiff arm. Getting into the end zone. 28 yards from Hartman. Jawan Pass started the opener against Alabama, played pretty well, struggled the next couple of games, has been removed from a handful of games, but he completes this pass. A little crossing route, gains 20 yards. Pass completes it again. Des Fitzpatrick across midfield to the Wake Forest 47, averaging about four hours of sleep a night, trying to get ready each week. Pass to the outside, broken up, intended for Devontae Pete. True freshman from Miami, getting physical. On third and short, it's Carney powering his way up the middle. Possibility is watch the running back. Third and three. Hartman rifles to Dorch. In open space, we know he's dangerous. Wow. To the 28-yard line. 32 seconds on the play clock. Carney has a hole. Inside the 20, embraces the contact, and he's spun down at the 11 by Dorian Etheridge. He have the breakaway speed, but he will run over you or run through you. Deacons on the move again. Hartman keeps it, runs it up the middle, bulldozing to the end zone, and he's in. Hartman for the touchdown. Toughness for the true freshman. 14-7, Wake leads Louisville, still in the first. Number two, but stalled around the 45. And there goes, pass to the ground. Wake Forest struggled to get to on the left side. And Puma just didn't see him coming until the last second. Gonna be, can Wake Forest generate pass rush? which they haven't done this year. Louisville sets up the screen. Of course, the Cardinals gave up seven sacks last week, uh, two weeks ago, before the bye against BC. Again, Colburn across midfield. First down, Wake Forest. Open, and we're seeing that right now. Gain of 12, the stop for Rajay Byrne. Now Hartman to throw, pump fakes to Dorch. Great adjustment, caught at the 23. Up the middle, Colburn, another big chunk. Four Louisville defenders. Hartman goes to the right. It's complete, and it's in the end zone.
zone. Scotty Washington with a Wake Forest touchdown. That's his first score of the season, and the stomach aches continue for Brian Van Gorder, Louisville's defensive coordinator. Offensive set, you send everybody to the left, and you leave one-on-one -on -one coverage there with Scotty Washington, and most times you're going to lose that one. Well, Washington 6'5", and Cornelius Sturgill's 5'11". An interesting observation, and I don't think you're wrong at all. On third down, pass completes this one. The speedy freshman, Tutu Atwell. Right now, Louisville has to be happy with the offensive line. They're doing a good job of protecting up front. Pass down the seam into traffic. And there's a flag late. Pass he got there just a little too early. Quarterback wants to be in second and manageable. Second and five, certainly that. This is Trey Smith, and he'll move the chains down to the 37-yard line. Louisville on the move. Let's check in with Kelsey. On the eighth play of a drive that so far has gone 43 yards. Pass, hands off to Smith. And he'll pick up four against the Cardinals. Match that total against the Rice Owls earlier this year. That pass thrown behind Smith. And pass took a hit in the backfield from Cam Glenn as he released it. This would be such a confidence boost for the Louisville it defense. Would be. It no question about it. Hartman looking right, and there was some holding on the perimeter intended for Sage Surratt. For a defense that's been struggling so far. Well, he's been frustrated. You, you got to take advantage of those opportunities. Louisville shakes free. Rajay Burns. Across midfield, he bulldozes the Wake Forest punter, <laughs> Dom Maggio. Five-yard line, we'll check that. Rajay Burns had a couple big returns earlier this year. Cardinals in business. Second and 15 for pass. As time steps up, Atwell wide open, look out. Speed pushed out of bounds by Masterson. <laughs> Give to Hall, running left, and this time he's stuffed by Boogie Basham. Despite losing four of the previous five meetings, has led the second half in all of them. Pass, tucks it, runs it. First down, inside the 20. Not open to his left. Good blocking up front. It's a good job recognizing that the left side of the field was open and using his speed to get the first down. Time tick off the clock. Let the defense rest. Hassan Hall has the first down. Battles toward the goal line, and he stopped at the one. This young freshman has a promising career at Louisville. Talked about him early. Breakaway speed. Not big in stack. Now Trey Smith dots the eye, takes the football, squirts his way to the outside for the touchdown. Second of the game for Smith. Cardinals a PAT away from being back within seven. Force lost containment on the outside. You cannot allow him to get to the outside that easy. Burn in the backfield to start this possession alongside Hartman at the 26-yard line. Over big hole. Big, big hole. Speed down the sideline for the once Louisville commit. He went to Wake Forest, and he's got a one-play, 74-yard drive for the touchdown. Wow! Sings his way 74 yards into the end zone. Look at off the hedge here, right? Perfect block there to seal that hole, and Colbert does the rest with his speed. It has to feel great to come back to Louisville and do that against the team that you thought you were going to play for. Only managed 10 points. Think right. of how it could have been different if it was 14 or 17 or 21 up. And here comes the reverse. And Louisville trying to get to the outside. Ball comes free. It's scooped up. There goes Boogie Basham. Another touchdown for the Demon Deacon D. Play just didn't start out right here. You see the wide receiver coming around. He gets the pitch. Almost gets tackled there. And good tackle. Coming up, hunting down that ball. And an easy scoop by Boogie. Basham. Nickname Boogie. I like that. On 
Marcus Riley, the Cardinals receiver that fumbled it. Right now, I, I think Pullman is under the gun now. He may get the first half, and we may see something different in the second half. But a good run there by Trey Smith. Ty Becht in there. Prize possession in the offensive line from the right side to the left side. There's a wide open man. <laughs> classes. They're not easy classes. Then you come and spend multiple hours watching film, trying to learn. Cam Glenn in the secondary forced to bring down Trey Smith. Pass on third down. Throw short and lost a yard. Kemp coming, pressure's on, pass throws to no one. Wake Forest will take over on downs. Shark week, always exciting. On third down, they snap it quick, and Colburn almost broke free wow. for another big play. He moves the chains. It seats up different right here. Hartman now 8 of 12. He's thrown incomplete in his last two attempts. And he's going down in the backfield. Amante Caban picks up his second sack of the year. Let's say that again. 122nd in the nation. With only seven of them in the first seven games of the season. Dom Maggio standing in his own 35. Well, that ball may have been partially blocked. It ricochets around. Louisville's going to have great field position after what's only about a 12, 13-yard punt. Here, you see the punter gets the ball. And it looks like it's hard to tell if Yasir Abdullah got a hand on it or not. Looks like he did get a hand on that. Second catch for Crum on second down and short. Jalen Smith. The rambles out of bounds into Wake Forest territory. Juwan Pass steps up, looking to run. And he's sandwiched by four Demon Deacons. Small came out, but Pass was down. I'm used to quarterbacks looking to slide on the ground. But here Pass gets the ball. He covers it up like a running fullback. Flying in, gets a big hit, forces a fumble, and all of a sudden they like him. Here's a fumble picked up in the backfield by Hall. Trying to turn it into something. And he can't do much. It's going to be a loss of eight yards. Aggressive here. You see Kim coming in the outside and Hassan. You got to be a better blocker if you're a running back. He did not pick up Kim. Kim makes the big hit. Trying to make the best out. All of a sudden, the second and short becomes third and long. Pass has time. Finds the open man. First down, Louisville to the 19 yard line. Leading Louisville in receptions. Pump fake. End zone. What a catch. Seth Dawkins hangs on for the Cardinals touchdown. I mean, here, he's just trusting his receiver. Put the ball up. Allow him to make the play. And Dawkins goes over top of the DB. Bassey. And comes down with the catch. The scoop and score. A couple... Long runs. Trey Smith from 52 to the second half. First and five, Hartman to Washington. First down, a gain of six. Look those cool. Oh, look at this. Big run, but a flag down. Colburn is gone, but will check the laundry. Wow. Colburn. Colburn loves coming back to Louisville. That's on the running back here. And there again, he gets lost, and that hole is wide open, and Colbert does the rest with his speed. But all of a sudden, Wake Forest looks great. A little groggy from the 18 innings last night. <laughs> yes, I am a little groggy. What a game, speaking of baseball. Third and short situation, third and two from the 31-yard line. Cunningham keeps it to the perimeter. He's very close, and oh, that's a generous spot. It is a generous spot. Hit there, and didn't walk off the field with a lot of energy. Rifle that ball down the seam, and that's Jalen Smith. And Henderson is the true freshman, Zion Keith, who has not played yet this year. Pass downfield, Atwell open on the sideline. 
And it's Taylor, just in the game, who got beat. Now the 23-yard line, pass continues the march. Jalen Smith to the 12. New set of downs at the 12-yard line. There's Hall, showing the speed to the edge, to the goal line. Touchdown! This kid has a lot of talent, and uh, it's just a matter of getting him the ball right there. Wow, he just kind of falls into the end zone. But two freshman playmakers for Louisville, getting them right back in this ball game. They are reviewing this. His foot was very close to the sideline before the ball crossed. Not sure it was out of bounds. It's like that leg stayed in front of the pile on, so. C.J. Avery forced him out of bounds. Now Washington, his fourth catch. Trying to get that first down. Carney has the first down for Wake Forest. On second down, there's Bachman, the fifth Wake Forest receiver with a catch. That'll move the chains. First down inside the 35. Tuck that ball away and run. Hartman again up the middle. Inside the 25, and you know, thinking back to the, the first ever meeting between these two teams, like, just don't hurt us, and that's all you're asking for your freshman quarterback sometimes. Great cutback by Greg Dortz. Mm -hmm. Special. It's a couple of steps to the outside and cuts it right back up the field. Mm -hmm. Pretty good red zone efficiency from each team, you'd say. Carney breaking tackles, churning down to the one. Inside the goal, inside the five, and there's Carney spinning off a tackler, showing his muscles and <laughs> scoring for the Dukes. You gotta love it. Two big, strong running backs. Wake Forest opener against Tulane in overtime. It's just power offense. Man, look at it. Show those guns, Carney. Second and ten from the seven. Smith going nowhere. Great third and long. Just a simple play up the middle, but the Deacons did a great job of stuffing that play up. Justin Stanad is playing a pretty good game for the linebacker. They need him. Yes. Pass throws tight window, and it's incomplete. Seth Dawkins unable to hang on through the contact. They've relied on him more and more as a junior and a senior. He had a great bowl game last year against Texas A&M. Although every offensive player at a great bowl game. Second down. Closing in on five minutes to play in the third, and there was no hole there whatsoever. Great job by the linebacker efforts coming up, being aggressive. The line just standing up. Third and 11. Probably four down territory here. And Hartman knows it. So he tries to get a chunk, and he lost the football. And it's going to work out because the fumble gained a couple extra yards. It's a fourth and seven now instead of a fourth and five. Can Hartman do it again? There's Dorch. First down inside the 15. Quick snap. Cole Byrne. He's got a hole this time. He's got another touchdown. Third of the day for Matt Cole Byrne. And he's over 200 yards on the score. Getting it done here. Again, right tackle. See if Louisville can make something happen on special teams. Oh, goodness. How many times has a kickoff been fumbled and yet Hall's still going? And when you get to the outside, you better watch out. Goodness. Hall. Oh. Drops the ball. Didn't panic at all. Made a couple of moves and we talk about his speed. Get to the outside, turn in the corner. Ran out of real estate. Pass, fires. Galen Smith hauls it in at the 15. Wow. Jenning Amari Henderson has returned to the game. Smith again inside the five, embracing the contact. He's starting to throw the ball and follow through with his passes instead of throwing off the back leg. Trey Smith with the game's 13th touchdown. <laughs> I feel bad for the folks cutting the highlight reel of this one. Just a good job on the offensive line.
Locking up front. Trey Smith finds the hole. And muscles through for a touchdown. They can come up with a stop. Wake 7 of 10 on third down today. 7 of 11. Jarrett Jackson got his paw up and swatted it away. He's taking some licks, but he's got the Tigers roaring today in Tallahassee. On second and seven, pass fires complete to move the chains as the third quarter clock winds down. Pass down the seam, finds Atwell again. Hangs on to the football through the contact. First down inside the 40. After making the hit, looks like he is injured on the field. 29 yards in Henderson. Puma pass. Another flag flies, and that throws incomplete. Pretty sure I saw Kenny Thomas guilty of the hold again. Matt Colburn, six more yards on the first play of the drive, and here's more than six more out across the 30. This is one of those historic games for him. I'll remember this for a very long time. Yes. Closing in on his career high. Give it up to this offensive line of Wake Forest. I'm hoping guys continue to pound the way. It made some big holes, and here's another one. Matt Colburn takes advantage and spins across the 50. <laughs> I'm talking about this offensive line. They just continue to get it done up front. With opening holes for Cole, Colburn to find. And, and believe it or not, I mean, it's tough to recruit at Duke. You know, you, you got to go get those well-rounded, talented guys. And he's done a tremendous job of bringing in a lot of talent. So the Cardinals get it back. About eight and a half minutes to go, trailing by three scores. And wait for the chance to down this ball, and they will. About an inch away from the goal line is where Louisville will start, trailing by 21. Down and one. And that's going to be short. Yeah, this is going to be short. Louisville, one of three on fourth down today. And it's Cunningham back in there, and he's close to the marker, and I think he's going to get it. Up at left cornerback. And Glenn applied the pressure. Pass completes it anyway. Nice catch by Smith. And just trust him to make the plays. Here's a quick throw. Fitzpatrick picks up the first down. Captain from Stone Mountain, Georgia. Third and eight. And there's a completion. Seth Dawkins hauls it in in Wake Forest territory of collegiate coaching. Pressure. Pass escapes the rush of Yarberry and then throws it away. It's Syracuse next week. That pass thrown in double coverage, incomplete, and Wake will take over on downs. He's closing in on surpassing John Wolford's total yardage from his freshman year. Carney, another first down to move the chains. What he expected when he came to Louisville. He said that. I mean, it's just been a tough run on his defensive side. Wake Forest finishes this game after the kneel down officially with 591 yards. A quick handshake between Clawson and Petrino.